Hello and welcome to Totally Trendy. I feel like I am on a morning talk show right now. My name's Samantha. Hi. Today, as always, I'm very excited to film this video. For today's video, I want to see if I can take three basic foods, fairly cheap, and upgrade them into gourmet standard items. Now I'm not a professional chef, but I do watch a lot of Bon Appetit, so that counts for something. Does it? I don't know. The three food items I'm gonna be trying to upgrade are a hot dog, mac and cheese, and ramen noodles. Now I'm gonna upgrade these three differently, but you should be able to do all of them at home. That's the point of this video, is to show you guys how to take your basic cheap food to the next level. Let's get started. I am going to start off with the hot dog. Just start the video, and you'll do it, and it'll be oh. fine. Was that, be good. we're all in this together? <laughs> start the video. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, hot dogs. So, I left them in the kitchen, I'll be back. The first thing we need to do is cook the hot dog. I need to figure out a way to cook this in an office. We do not have a grill. I feel like I need to make eye contact with both Rose and Woods because they're just staring at me right now. Look, put them on that. No. <gasps> so unsanitary. Look at grill marks. To put them on our space heater? Dude, all the way yeah, up. Crank it. No, just take, so unscrew this and then, um, I kind of wanted to show people an easier way to like thoroughly cook a hot dog than just microwaving it and it getting all boiled and splattering everywhere. Saw a really cool way that you can cut a hot dog that gives it like the grilled taste in the microwave. So I wanted to do that to like actually inform them because I don't think a lot of people- You just said it was a bad idea. I'll boil it. No. Maybe we should just let her film her video. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. Okay, go for it. Hello. There's a certain way that you can cut a hot dog to microwave it where it still releases all the good flavor that you would get from grilling it. But we don't have a grill here as I've previously established. So what you want to do is you just do all these little crisscross cuts. It also just makes it look really fancy. So <laughs> I love that I turned the entire cutting board instead of just turning the hot dog. And then you just cut it this way. Ooh, that looks disgusting. You know those like wooden snake toys? I just microwaved it for about 30 seconds. I think this is gonna be perfect because all like the chili and flavor is gonna sit right in all those little crevices. Oh my goodness. So we've run into a little bit of a dilemma. I'm trying to add chili to this hot dog and uh, this is what the can opener we have is doing. So I need to figure out a way to open this. I'm gonna show you guys like how well this is not working. Gunner did say he has a blade that could open it, kind of like Rex style. It's just like too angled. It's just not turning. It's cutting through the side like the edge. Oh, shit. Ah. Where's Gunner? I don't know. Am I his keeper? <laughs> I mean, are you not? Do you know how to use a can opener? I do. It's are you just, sure? The can opener doesn't work. Uh, no, are you sure seriously. The can opener doesn't work, or do you not work? Any chance you can open a can? <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> yeah, let me go grab a smaller katana. <laughs> okay. Do not try this at home. Gunner is a professional. <laughs> this is how the caveman. <laughs> Used to do it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> when they were opening their canned food. Uh, they <laughs> yeah, with the tools. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now that we have the chili cooking, I am going to start on the caramelized onions. That is actually an idea from Rose, and I think it's going to be a really nice touch. Do red onions make you cry when you cut them? I don't know, but we'll find out. Say bye to your mascara. Oh, it's not waterproof. Wow. That's an onion. Oh, it's getting to my eyes now. It's not a fun sensation. I'm gonna put the onions in the butter. It's gonna smell real good in this office. <laughs> it just looks really good, I'm excited. We got a fresh baked bread bun. We're going to add some of the chili. Chili is not a visually pleasing thing. And then we are going to add some of our baby spinach on this layer. 
add a few of the caramelized onions. These are gonna have a lot of really good flavor. We are also gonna add some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. So here we have the final product, a hot dog with chili, baby spinach, mozzarella, and caramelized onions. The no name. Comment down below, what would you name this hot dog? I kind of like that you can't see the hot dog, you know? We are not gonna taste test this yet because Woods really wants to eat this one, but he's filming Rick right now, so stay tuned to see Woods eat this hot dog. We are gonna move on to the mac and cheese. I think it's gonna be really simple, but just like an elevated taste. So I'm just gonna use these Kraft macaroni and cheese, little like microwave things. My plan, is to not use this cheese powder. I just don't think this cheese powder is all that good. I'm going to replace that cheese powder with fresh mozzarella and little mini Velveeta blocks, which I know is like another artificial cheese, but it's better. And I think it's gonna taste really nice combined with melted fresh mozzarella and top it off with breadcrumbs. We're still gonna follow these instructions to cook it. Add water, microwave for three and a half minutes, and we will enjoy it. Go ahead and put the noodles into a new glass bowl. Make it a little, ooh, it's like a facial. Have you ever um, steamed your face over a hot bowl of macaroni? No, but I have over a dishwasher. The things we do. <laughs> <laughs> While this is still hot, I'm going to add some fresh pieces of mozzarella and Velveeta. Now I have the cheese nice and melted. I'm going to add just a couple more mozzarella chunks. I want there to be some like burst of flavor in there as you're eating it. Top it off with some breadcrumbs and then just a little bit of baby spinach because I think it'll be nice to add some greens in there too. Added the breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna sprinkle some more Parmesan. And there we go. That is how you take Kraft Singles mac and cheese to the next level. Look at that. Do you want a bite? Yes, a lot of cheeses. Yeah, a lot of different cheeses. Let's right. see. Cheers. Cheers. Yo. Yo. Wait. I love the breadcrumbs. I know mm. I didn't like toast them or anything because mm. I don't have a blowtorch. That second bite was like sold. You guys should definitely try this. Mm. Mm hmm I really like the days that you film, especially when you do food. All right, go ahead. Go for Bite it. Bite it down the middle. No. A sandwich? <laughs> Does this automatically make it a sandwich now? I think it's all, hot dog. <laughs> wow. It depends on how you eat it, right? What's inside of it? A hot dog, chili, baby spinach, caramelized onions, and mozzarella. Would, I can't. It. No. Would <laughs> eat it. Just like a little sweet. Mm-hmm. And then hot dog. <laughs> I'm boiling an egg. What do you think I could be adding an egg to? Oh, time's up. Not now, Mom. What do you think I could be adding an egg to <laughs> to make it better? Ham, Something that's eggs. cheap. What? Ramen. Heck yes! Ramen noodles. It is time to make over the classic ramen noodle. I'm really upset because I got a shirt I'm that upset. is- <laughs> I got a shirt that is this exact logo and I planned on wearing it while I was filming this video and I forgot. If you've never had, I don't know anyone who has never had ramen noodles. I was just gonna say, if you've never had any, it's just dried up veggies and noodles and chicken powder and stuff. I'm going to add real chicken to it, a boiled egg and some other seasoning. I'm actually gonna add teriyaki chicken to the ramen noodles to really bring out the flavor. So let's do it. Hated that. I hated that. Cringy. Yeah, we all know. <laughs> gonna cook the chicken in the sauce and let it like marinate. Cooking up chicken with Sam. Rose is dancing to my song, which is really cool. Yeah, we're cooking ramen noodles with Sam. While Rose is dancing and enjoying it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the sauce in it so it really like absorbs into the chicken. This is just such a simple way to upgrade an affordable meal. Like you can just add so many little things to make it so much better and things that like really bring out the flavor of the ramen. It is time to assemble all of the ingredients that are gonna really upgrade this ramen noodle. I think I've said the word upgrade like 12 times in this video. It's gonna upgrade. We're just gonna pour this in a bowl to make it look a lot nicer. Yes, oh, this is gonna be so good. Cut our hard boiled egg in half, guys. This one was so easy. 
This is how you take cheap ramen noodles into gourmet level ramen noodles. Eat it. I'm going to. It's gonna be good. I got it all. How is it? Is it good? Do you like it? Really good. I mean, it's exactly what I thought it would turn out like. Good.